What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the IQ Vision Check System. This little device allows you to test your vision using the display on your smartphone, all without having to set up a doctor's appointment, all without having to leave your home. And as someone who has never had to wear prescription glasses in the past, this is actually very interesting to me. I'm interested to see what my results are going to be in my 30s. I'm actually finding that things are getting a little fuzzier, especially when things are further away from me. They tend to be a little bit out of focus, so it could be that I actually do need a pair of glasses. At the end of the test, you'll be given a set of numbers that you can use to order your very own set of prescription glasses. You can get prescription glasses online with the score that you get from the test, which is great because you're not having to actually go out of your house, go into a store, you can actually order those glasses online. This doesn't require any type of insurance. The actual vision check system only costs $70 and includes a full year subscription. So you can check your eyesight as much as you want throughout the year. And then to re-up that subscription is only $5 per year. So this is a really great value. I want to thank IQ for sponsoring this video. IQ also provided all the devices, some great training and some great support. So I wanted to thank them for that as well. Let's go ahead and get started. So with my vision results, I was able to grab a set of try-on glasses. The cost of the try-on glasses glasses is $19 and these are made in the US and shipped directly to your door. These are not the glasses that I will eventually wear. I'm, I'm probably going to order some that look a little better. These are just specifically to show you what your vision would look like with the correct lenses. To me, these give off a bit of a Harry Potter vibe. But for someone who's never worn a pair of glasses, I have to say this is amazing. I never really realized how great my vision could be. So I'll definitely order a pair of glasses and I'll use them when I'm driving and things. For me, I guess I'm what you would call nearsighted. I have to have my glasses to see things better further away. So if it's in front of me, I don't actually need my glasses, but I'm finding out that I can see my TV better when it's further away. I can see signs better when they're further away. And I never would have even considered going to the doctor without IQ. Being able to do this from the comfort of my home, that added convenience, not having to go and talk to an actual doctor or spend an hour in a waiting room, that was all super valuable to me. And the fact that it actually works the way it does and that I'm actually able to have better vision this is incredible. And really for $70 with a full one year subscription, I really don't think that you can beat the value. Let's take a look at what all comes in the box itself. This is the vision check device. This is what you're going to connect to your smartphone to actually do the vision check test. As you can see here, you've got a couple of buttons here. You'll use these two buttons to line up the lines. This button here is going to be to select. You've got your power button and a charge port there. And then this is where you'll rest your eye and look into that uh, for the actual test. This is the strap that you're going to use to connect it to your phone. You do have also a charge cable that it comes with so that you can keep this charged. I've done lots and lots of tests with this and I've never had to recharge it. So the battery life on this is actually superb. And then you also have the pupillary distance measuring tool. Everyone's pupils are aligned differently and everyone's eyeballs are spaced differently on their face. Everyone has a different facial structure. So this just makes sure that your glasses support your specific pupillary distance. All right, so we'll go ahead and set this up. And one thing that I would recommend, go ahead into your settings and I would turn your display setting, let's see here. I would turn the screen time out to 30 minutes. It's only gonna take, you know, five minutes or so to do all your tests. Uh, no, no more than 15 minutes to do all of your tests. Um, but what's really going to be annoying is if you're in the middle of the test and your display turns off. So I'll always make sure to go in there and maximize my screen timeout. Then you're going to go ahead and go into the IQ application. All right. And we'll click test and we'll begin. So we're going to go ahead and power this on so that it can make the Bluetooth connection. All right. And it sees it there. So we'll go ahead and select that. And since we've got an 89% charge, we'll go ahead and continue. All right. So now we're going to remove our cover and we're going to place this down with the buttons all facing the top of your device and make sure that it is lined up within the dots kind of has like a suction cup action so it kind of holds on to your phone but we're going to go ahead and further attach it 
with the rubber strap. So just kind of hook, hook in the rubber strap on either side. So on the Pixel, on the Pixel 5 device, um, it actually fits perfectly because the strap goes over the volume rocker, which is great. All right, so once you have this attached, we'll hit next. And it wants to know if your phone has a screen protector. In this case, it does not. And it says remove your glasses or contacts to begin. So uh, what you're doing here is you're using these two buttons to overlap the line. So you're going to, whenever you look in, you're going to see a red and a green line. They are not going to be touching each other. So they'll be apart and you're going to use these two buttons to kind of move them together until they overlap. So kind of what it's showing in the image there. So you're going to make a yellow color. All right. So now that we have this set up, the way that this is going to work, I'm now testing my right eye and I'm gonna hold the device about where I would hold a magazine if I was reading it. You'll be able to actually see the lights inside the device. We're gonna keep both eyes open. My left eye is gonna be focused off in the distance and my right eye will look into the glass and you're just gonna move it to your eye like so. You'll be able to see the red and the green lights in there and you're gonna use these two buttons here. Just tap them. One makes them go further apart and the other makes them come closer together. You'll line those up until they're completely overlapping and then you'll tap the third button to select. They do give you a practice run and then you can test your eye three times in order to get accurate results. Next up, we're gonna grab our pupillary distance frames after we've done all of our testing with the IQ vision check and we're going to put on our frames and we're gonna to have to center our face in the circle. All right, so we'll go ahead and center our face into the circle and take a picture. And it actually got it dead on. So I don't have to adjust this at all. I'll just confirm and select yes. And now we're good to go. My friend TK actually does a really great job of explaining what the IQ vision check is checking in order to get you your numbers. But essentially what's going on here is if you're farsighted or nearsighted, the image that you're seeing is actually not hitting the back of your eye, which is where you register all the details in the image. And you're having to compensate usually by squinting or something like that, uh, or by wearing a pair of glasses. The pair of glasses is going to allow your eye to compensate so that the image does hit the correct spot of your eyeball. And you're gonna actually see a whole lot clearer uh, with more focus. I'll be sure to include a link to TK's video so you get a better explanation of that, but essentially that's what it's testing. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can pick up your IQ vision checker today. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.